Hi, this is Mrs. Benning with a quick tutorial on how to set up your Powtoon student account. The first thing you need to remember is that it's very important that you do not just go to Powtoon.com and create an account. You need to be sent the link from your teacher. This will attach you to your teacher's class. So you put that link in your address bar and it'll take you to a page that looks like this. Now my page of course says Nod Library because that's my group name. Your teacher's group name will be something else like Mrs. Juarez, Block G, or whatever. And this is where you will sign up for your Powtoon account, not at Powtoon.com. You just put in your name, choose a username, put in your email address, choose a password, and click Sign Up. Then you'll notice up here it says thank you, we added you to the group. You click OK there. Now here you are at, at the uh, Powtoon, at your Powtoon site. And this is where you'll start and you can then click on create to create your Powtoon. So you click on create. Now you can select any of these templates but we're going to start from scratch. So you click on start from scratch, you want a blank template and you hit go. All right, after you hit create for the first time, it will bring you to this fabulous little tutorial from Ilya. You want to watch this. It's only almost a minute and a half. Watch it because it gives you a really quick, painless overview of what Powtoon is and how to use it. So watch this video. When you're done, you hit close. There's a couple things I need to tell you. Up here in the styles, the ones that say more, we have to pay for so we don't get those. But anything that doesn't say more, we have those styles. Okay, so let's say I've created a little Powtoon. I'm all done. <clears throat> I've saved it. Now what you need to do, this is very important, go to Preview. Now that'll load your Powtoon here, but more importantly, you go to your Dashboard. Click on Dashboard. And what you need to do is you, this is where you're going to name your Powtoon. This is the Powtoon that I just created. The problem is, for some reason, when you click on this and you try to rename it, it doesn't save it. So the best way to rename your Powtoon, go over here to Show Details. You go down here to Info. Click on that. See where this is the title blank. Edit and that's where you put your title in. Okay, and then you go over here to the check mark, click check, and there. That's where you change the name of your Powtoon. See, and now it's changed up here as well. Okay, the other important thing to do is you now have created your Powtoon, you've named it, now you need to assign it to your group so your teacher can see it. So you click on Assign to Group and use this little drop-down menu and your teacher's class name or group name, whatever he or she has chosen to name it, appears there. You click on that, you click on Assign, and now your Powtoon has been assigned to your group. And of course, by group I mean your teacher's class. It's not your study group or anything like that. So now just to show you what it looks like from the teacher side, now I'm in my teacher uh, Powtoon I click down there, there's Jane Austen, one new submission. I click on that, and then I can view uh, the Powtoon that I just created as Jane Austen. And then when you're all done, you just go here, log out, and log out, and you're done. If you have any questions, contact me, kbenning at shamanad.org, or come to the library and see me.